it's Sam and I am in my kitchen because I'm going to be doing a food video. I recently got HelloFresh and I got it because I've kind of been in... HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service. If, for those of you that don't know, you get ingredients and you just need to provide the salt, pepper, and oil, I believe, but everything else they provide for you, the protein, the veggies, the carbs. And I kind of been in an ideal rut. I love cooking and I really like grocery shopping, but I just coming up with meals four days out of the week. I know it's not a lot of days, but I don't know, sometimes it can get tiring. I feel like I'm in the kitchen for like two or three hours, uh, depending on what kind of meal that I'm making. Normally I don't cook on the weekend, but yesterday on Sunday, today is May 22nd, which is my friend's birthday. I gotta wish him a happy birthday. Um, yesterday I did cook and we ate at home, but most of the time I don't cook Friday to Sunday, I take off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I thought I would get back on the HelloFresh train. I used to get them. These are the recipes. And I forgot. I got annoyed because I forgot. It was my fault. I forgot to skip one week. And I had to pay for like a whole another week of meals when I didn't want it. Um, and I think I started HelloFresh the same reason I did this time. It's just because I like, I can't come up with meals anymore. And I think part of it is I'm like half summer fever. Um, I have about a month and a half. Actually, working days, it's less than 20 something, 24 days maybe. Uh, but if you count the weekends, I have a, a little bit more than a month and a half left to go of work. I work in a public school. school for those of you that don't know, I do know how to talk. <laughs> um, but I, I work with very little kids, four year olds. Anyway. Nothing to do with nothing. Uh, so yeah, I picked out four meals Monday through Thursday. The first one is the spicy Peruvian chicken. And I love these cards. I feel like they've gone down in quality though. You could feel it, the difference. Those are fr those recipes are from several years ago. Uh, anyway, uh, they give you the what it's supposed to look like. Then they uh, give you the ingredient list, how much you get of each. And then I love this. Uh, just a recipe card and I think this is great for beginners as well as people who cook a lot like me um, they just break it down really easily and I mean this is good I'm hopeful that this food is good because I have tried them before and I really really like food there was only one time I think there was only once that I remember uh, it was the Korean they had a Korean bulgari bibimbap dish and it's just like meat with rice but since I've been to so many Korean restaurants, uh, it was just okay. It wasn't bad. It was just okay. But I really do like HelloFresh. And maybe I won't do it every week. Maybe I'll do it one week out of the month. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the ingredients to this recipe. It sounded really good. So you, if you have never used the app before or online uh, on their website, you can switch out. You don't have to... So they give you four or five meals depending on what your plan is and then you can change them out. Although some of the premium items, premium meals, they do charge you extra per person, which I, I don't know, I don't love that. Um, but let me turn you around. And you get, for this meal, you get chicken cutlets, which they pack the meat at the bottom. Oh, and they do put it into a, a bag like this. All of the meals come separately in a bag. Uh, yeah, the downside is they use a ton of plastic. Sorry about the dirty dishes in the sink. There's mayonnaise. There's two of everything because it's for four people. Sour cream, fajita mix, chicken stock concentrate, so it looks like jelly, jasmine rice, scallions, two limes, two tomatoes, and two jalapenos. I am pretty excited to start this. I'm not going to start actually right now, although I don't know why I said that. Why I said that. I am going to start cooking. It's about 4.30 and I'm going to, sorry, you're a little bit uh, blurry there. Uh, I'm going to start cooking around 4.45, 5 o'clock because this only takes prep is 10 minutes and cook time is 30 minutes. I love it. All the meals are very uh, short on time, which is great. Sometimes, like I said, I feel like I'm in the kitchen forever. Yeah. Here is everything washed and chopped up. So you have limes, 
lime zest, jalapenos, garlic, the scallion separated into whites and greens, and then tomatoes. And then next up is the rice. And I'll show you that once it gets going. And here's the rice. You add the white scallion, garlic, uh, the fajita spice mix, and then you add the rice, the stock concentrate, some water, a pinch of salt, and then I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about, it says 15 to 18 minutes. I think it's almost done. They had us put the rest of the fajita mixture on it and cook for three to five minutes. And then I made the creamy salsa verde, but I made a mistake and added, oops, added a lot more jalapenos. That means the rice is ready. Let's take a look. Ooh, that looks good. And here is the finished plate. I messed up with the salsa verde, the creamy salsa verde, but I think I tasted each component and it's really good. Hey, today is Tuesday, May 23rd, right? Um, I had a weird day. I don't know. It's uh, not to get too into it because the last introduction was crazy long. I don't need to do that. Uh, my grandmother is in the hospital again, but I visited her today and she is doing really well. Uh, I left work early to go see her. And right now it is 4.30 and I underestimated how much time I needed and I always do this. Uh, so I'm gonna start now instead of around five o'clock. This is supposed to be, so it's prep time. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna cook the firehouse cheeseburgers and it does come with potatoes on the side there. And it's supposed to take, prep is 10 minutes and cook time is 35 minutes. I do believe I have to put the potatoes in the oven. Yes, whoa, it's hot. 450 degrees yikes anyway uh i want to show you also before i oh daisy she is very loud uh that's one of my dogs by the way <laughs> in case you didn't realize daisy quiet please uh so this is the bag that it comes in it's tough for her when she can't see us we're working on it ground beef and then Onion, potatoes, hamburger bun. Let's see, and it, there's two of everything here: uh, Parmesan cheese, sour cream, Red Hot original seasoning blend, which I've never seen before. And then let's see. I think I've got everything. Uh, these are the last two things. A buttermilk ranch dressing. I'm so sorry about the barking. And then Frank's Red Hot. The fuck it, I love Frank's Red Hot sauce. Um, so that should be good. These are gonna be spicy burgers. We love spicy food here. Uh, I'll get all of my stuff prepped and I'll share with you what I have going on. I totally spaced and forgot to film what I was doing. I have made the patties. This is ground beef with the Frank's Red Hot sauce and seasoning and a little bit of salt i have the fried onions here ready to go when the burgers are done i'm gonna cut up some avocados and i'm gonna cook a fried egg for my boyfriend and then i thought since there's really no veggie uh, i'm gonna make a corn salad and then in the oven are the potatoes and they smell and look pretty nice they have another like 10 15 minutes to go and I don't mind, so I don't mind making another side for this. You could have added a veggie for another fee, but that stuff I have, like this is canned corn that I have, and I'm gonna make it kind of like a corn salsa. I thought that would be nice with the burger. And here's the corn salsa. And here is the finished result. It looks really nice. Uh, the potatoes, I think they were still a little too wet, but uh, there it goes. And that's my sister's. My sisters. Hey, today is Wednesday, May 24th. I just came back from a school trip and that is so stressful. It was a good day. The weather was perfect. We went to the aquarium, but it's a stressful day. You can ask any teacher or educator that works with kids. When we go outside of school, it's kind of like a totally different experience. Anyway. 
I am sorry to cook dinner. We are doing brown sugar bourbon pork chops. And today's meal is gonna be the same as yesterday. Prep time is 10 minutes and then cook time is 35 minutes. And I had frozen the pork chops because I wasn't gonna cook it until the third day and we got it on Sunday. These are the pork chops. Here is the bag. I'm in my PJs already. I could go to bed right now, but I can't. Not yet. Uh, so here are scallions, string beans, tons of potatoes. It's gonna be mashed potatoes. Yesterday was uh, quarter potatoes. And then we also have, let's see, brown sugar bourbon, sour cream, chicken concentrate, chicken stock concentrate, and then an apple. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna prep everything and then I will, sh I'll try to remember, yesterday I don't remember to show you anything really, uh, but I'll try to remember to show you the prep work that I do. I was cutting this potato and it reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. Weird. The string beans are ready to go in the oven. They're tossed with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Here are the pork loins. They are going to cook on both sides for five minutes each. And then here are the potatoes, but the water is taking forever to boil. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, and then there's a couple more things that I have to top up, but that's later on. Pork loins are done cooking. In the same pan, I added the cut up apples and white part of the scallions. And finally, the potatoes are boiling. I added to the scallion and apple mixture some water, sugar, and salt and pepper, and the chicken stock concentrate. And then it's going to reduce for like another five minutes until it gets thicker. And the potatoes are done. And the last steps are to put the pork loins back into the pan. And here are the scallions, sour cream, salt and pepper, and a little bit of potato water. And I'm gonna mash these until they're mashed. <laughs> and the string beans are done. Everything came together at the same time last minute. Amazing. Mashed potatoes, pork loin with the apple mixture, and the string beans. The, this sauce tastes delicious. the potatoes with a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper and it's gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes here is the chicken with the panko and mozzarella mixture plus the pestos underneath it and it's gonna cook in the oven for about 20 minutes and then in the oven are the potatoes still cooking to film the results potatoes string beans and the chicken and I'm making broccoli cheddar soup I totally forgot to film the ending for my Hello Fr Fresh video. The meals were decent. I didn't love it this time. I know in previous years when I've gotten it, I have really enjoyed the food. Um, I think my problem was I didn't notice that I was getting the same kind of sides. Uh, so three out of the four meals had potatoes and two out of the four meals had string beans. But that was my fault. Uh, there is a little, as I mentioned in the beginning, they, you can switch out the meals. So they pick four meals. That's my plan. They pick four meals for you. 
but you can swap them out and put ones in that you like. The only thing is for the premium or better sounding items like steak and other things like that, you have to pay extra, which I wasn't going to do. Um, I would do this again, and I think I am going to do it like one month out of the year. <laughs> one month out of the year. One month, uh, one week out of every month, but I'm not going to do it every week. I've canceled the last two weeks and um yeah i enjoyed it it's i i think it is cheaper in the long run and the convenience of it is what is so great about these meal delivery kits um everything is provided for you with the exception of salt pepper butter and oil but everything else you get in there and i would definitely say try it out Again, for me, it's not a weekly thing, but I totally get it, and it does make your life a little bit easier. Like, today I have to do something after work. Oh, gosh, sorry. Uh, you have to, I have to do something after work, um, so I kind of wish I had that for today, a HelloFresh meal kit, um, but, you know, that's okay. I'll just eat a little bit later today. Anyway, nothing to do with this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.